Today I'm looking through every possible method of time travel as permitted in physics. First off we have the regular one everyone is doing already. Right now all of us are traveling to the future one second at a time. But besides that, enter Einstein's relativity. We live in a four dimensional space time. Three dimensions of space and one of time. Meeting someone requires coordinates in both space and time. Because they can just wait for you everywhere at every moment. The fabric of space time isn't just a stage, it's dynamic, bending and stretching. By tinkering with it, we could warp time itself. The first method is speed. At 300,000 km per second, light is the cosmic speed limit. Nothing with mass can reach or exceed it. Even though light is insanely fast, it feels really slow over cosmic distances. Sunlight takes 8 minutes to reach us, while light from distant galaxies takes billions of years. This means now is relative, there is no universal present. If you could approach light speed, time would slow for you relative to stationary observers. Traveling at 99% the speed of light even for a few moments would return you to an Earth that's aged decades. Problem is we have no way of reaching that speed. The second method is gravitational time dilation. Instead of speed, just stay near a massive object like a black hole that warps spacetime into a deep dent. Time slows in stronger gravity. If you spend an hour near a black hole's edge, decades could pass on earth, but surviving the tidal forces there is really improbable. So that's traveling to the future. But what about the past? Well physics doesn't really like that. Causality, the rule that cause comes before the effect, gets broken. Imagine doing something that will make it as if you were never born, when you are already here. This is called a paradox, a contradiction that if it comes true may erase existence, but we don't know that. There are a few hypothetical methods methods to go back in time. First we have wormholes, hypothetical shortcuts through space time. If you could stabilize one with negative energy, which is exotic matter that repels gravity, you might connect two times and go through them. But negative energy exists only in quantum scale amounts. We've never observed it macroscopically. Second we have the Tipler cylinder, a rotating cylinder made of ultra dense matter spinning near light speed. It twists space time into a loop letting you travel to the past by circling it, but it needs to be infinitely long and made of materials beyond our science. So that's another dead end. Spinning black holes have a ring-shaped singularity. Some theories suggest passing through the ring could lead to another time or universe, but even if true, you would be shredded by gravity first. Other wild ideas include cosmic strings, hypothetical cracks in space-time from the Big Bang. If two strings zipped past each other near the speed of light, they might warp time and to a loop. Tachyons are hypothetical particles that always move faster than light. According to special relativity, they would experience time backward, but they have never been detected. In the many worlds interpretation where every quantum possibility branches reality, time travel might create a parallel timeline avoiding paradoxes or retro causality. Future events influencing the past at the quantum level could let quantum particles influence the past. Seen in lab experiments like the delayed choice quantum eraser, where measuring a particle now changes its behavior in the past. By the way, Stephen Hawking once threw a party for time travelers, but he only announced it after it happened. No one showed up of course, but if time travel somehow becomes possible in the future, you know what to do.